Hi, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be showing you how I mount my finished artwork onto a board. This is a panel, sometimes called a cradle, and it is one and a half inches thick. It's size 12 by 12, and it's just a natural birch wood. At the end of the video, I'm going to review several kinds of panels that I have bought from Amazon, which ones I like, which ones I don't care for as much and why so stay tuned for that the stages that my artwork goes through I'll show you a couple of pieces this one I finished and it's on a 12 by 12 graphics opaque art plastic I haven't done anything else to it yet the next stage after I finish the painting is to spray it with Kmar varnish and UV protection I have a video on how I did that, that I did for my coasters and for a couple of pieces of artwork. So watch that video if you would like to know how to protect your artwork before you go to this stage. I'm going to use this matte gel medium to adhere my artwork to this panel. I'm going to be using Liquitex matte gel medium and once I get this on, then I'll be at this stage ready to put the epoxy on. When I get finished, after I mount the artwork onto the panels, I'm going to be using art resin to finish the piece. Here is a finished one. You can see it's kind of a glossy glass-like shine that goes on it. I really, really like the pieces like this and I really like to use the raw birch wood and not paint it. So I'm going to show you how I mount this. It can get a bit messy. Have precautions for that. Plan ahead really well. I have already varnished this. Like I said, you can do this before you varnish and spray with UV protectant, but I don't recommend it because you want to make sure that the, the ink or whatever medium, watercolor, whatever you're using is, is fixed and not going to be affected by a little bit of glue that gets on it. You're gonna have to wipe that off and you're, it's just gonna get a mess. And so I'd rather everything be protected. So I put aside small pieces of paper towel that I can use for quick wiping and so that I don't have to throw away a whole paper towel after I wipe because it gets on it and then you, you know it gets to be such a mess if you don't. Then I have some bigger pieces set aside so that when I'm done putting the matte medium on I can roll on top of it without using my, my brayer or roller right on top of my artwork. Again I just want to protect it the best that I can. So first thing I'm gonna do is take one of my paper towels and just make sure it's clean that there's no debris on it no dust or any pieces of anything just make sure it's nice and clean I'm going to use a palette knife for this and I'm, I've made sure that it's clean and I will be wiping it off and then cleaning it with soap and water as soon as I'm finished This uh, matte medium is, is about the same consistency as it's like an Elmer's glue, maybe a little thicker. But what I'm going to do is just pretend this <laughs> as if I'm icing a cake. I don't want too much excess because then it will be a huge mess. But I also don't want it too thin that it will come loose later on. That wouldn't be fun at all. So I'm just going to put some thin strips of, of the matte medium on the board. And then I'm just going to spread it out to the edges. I want all the corners to make sure that they're covered and that the gel medium goes all the way to the edge. So I'm just going to spread it to the edges first. Making sure that the matte gel medium is 
covering every inch of the edges. And now that the edges are completely covered, I'm just going to spread it and make it as even as I possibly can. Okay. Now I will place my artwork on it and just kind of scooch it. That's a professional term, scooch. Until it is as even as I can get it. And I just feel and make sure that it's evenly placed. Okay, great. Now I'm going to I'm going to put my paper towel down on top of my artwork. As I said before, it's already been varnished, so I know it's going to be protected, but at the same time, I just don't want to accidentally put any scratches or, or anything on it. You can use wax paper over it. If you feel like your roller is perfectly fine, you can just roll on top of your artwork if you want. I put a paper towel to where it's not going all the way to the edges and the reason I do that is the the matte gel medium will squish out um, on the edges and I don't want it to get on my paper towel because if I if I say have it like this and I roll it and then I reposition my paper towel I'm gonna get the matte gel medium on the top of my artwork and I don't want that to happen and now I'm going to to roll out the middle and get it as even as I can and then I'm going to roll off of the artwork so that I know that the matte gel medium is getting all the way to the edges. Now it may shift while I'm doing this so I'm constantly checking to make sure that the artwork is still all the way to each edge and even. Since I have the exact same size of panel to artwork I want to make sure <laughs> that it's going to stay even. So. First I'm going to start in the middle and just roll it back and forth just to even out the medium underneath the artwork. And I'm going to do one edge at a time and if there's any excess that comes out I'm going to scrape it with my palette knife or run my finger around and make sure that all of the excess is taken off.
All right, so now I'm just testing or looking at each corner and edge and making sure everything is even. And it seems to be good. All right, so now I'm going to put it on a table. I'm going to put it upside down and put some heavy things on top of it for a few hours just to make sure that the glue sets and that it, it sets as flat as possible. So let me show you how I do that. I have a nice clean surface to set my artwork and I set it upside down. Um, and then I take some heavy things. I have some handy dandy tiles that I've messed up on. <laughs> and I have several of these that I didn't really like the results of. And they've actually come in really handy for different things because they're heavy, they work perfectly for this. I'm gonna put this heavy book on top and I'm gonna leave it for several hours. Here's one, another one that I've done and I've put a couple of heavy books on top of it as well. And in a few hours it will be set and dry and I will be able to do the epoxy resin. Usually though I will wait overnight. The matte gel medium has now dried and it's nice and glued flat to the surface. I'm really happy with how this worked. There is one problem though, and I wanna show you how uh, to, to fix it. There's a little bit of glue that got on the paper right here. Unfortunately, it's not where the white is. It's in a kind of crucial area right there. So I wanna show you how I fix that, uh, if that happens to you. I'm going to just get a simple cotton swab and a paper towel and I have some 70% alcohol in this container here. I don't want to use 91 or 99%. I, I don't want to ruin the painting. So what I'm going to do, let's see if I can get this where you can see it. I'm going to spray a little bit of the 70% on the cotton swab so it's, it's not totally soaked it's just got a little bit on there and I'm just going to very lightly rub where the glue has gotten on the painting it's it takes a little patience because I don't want to rub off anything thankfully you know before doing this process I had already varnished the painting and that helps to protect it from this process. But as I said, just use 70% and don't completely soak it. Just keep lightly rubbing where the glue is. I don't have to remove absolutely all of it because when I put the epoxy on there, you probably won't be able to see it very much. But I just wanted to make sure that most of it was removed. Okay. Uh, I do see another spot here. And I want to make sure there's no color on my cotton swab. And I don't have to be quite as careful in this area because it's just white here and I know I won't be rubbing anything off. I'm happy with it now. Perfect. The last thing I want to do is I just want to make sure that this fits completely correctly. Um, I know both are 12 by 12, but there might be a little bit of, of difference that I just want to trim off if there is. And all of the sides look good.
except for this one. It has a little bit of white hanging off. If it's not a lot, you can leave it and when the epoxy resin goes on, it'll be fine. But this is a little more than I want. So I'm gonna get a, a knife and cut that off and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I'm going to cut just this tiny sliver of white off of the edge of my board here. I just have this simple knife. I've got a brand new blade, so it's gonna be good and sharp. And I'm just going to very slowly and carefully go along the edge of the board. I'm doing this on a self-healing mat that I have. There's one little bit right there I didn't get. There we go. Okay, that part always makes me the most nervous. So there we go. There's my piece ready for epoxy resin and then it'll be completely done. My last video that I did showed how I apply epoxy resin to coasters, but the next video that I do, I'm going to show you how I do the epoxy resin for the larger pieces. It's basically the same thing, but I just wanted to show you that it's not a scary thing and it's easy and it makes your finished pieces just really shine. I really enjoy using it for these alcohol ink paintings of my birds. Uh, now I would like to give you a personal preference review of the different art panels that I've used, these, these cradle art panels. They're both natural birch wood and they're a, around the same price. I've only used two different brands. Um, so I can only give you my opinion on these two brands that I got from Amazon. Um, the right hand side is by Art Alternatives and the one on the left is US Art Supply. Um, it's a tiny bit cheaper on Amazon for, for this one and I get a pack of four on both of them. I'll link them in the bottom for you. They're really both good brands. I really like both brands. Both are, are really good for the price I think but I just personally prefer the US art supply and for a couple of reasons first of all I'll talk about art alternatives I think it's a, a, a better well-known brand and you can tell on the back that it just seems smoother and um, thicker these panels here compared to these are a lot thicker um, and that can be a good thing if that's what you want. But um, the thing is, is it makes it a little heavier than the US Art Supply brand. And after I apply the epoxy resin to it, it gets even heavier. And I don't want super heavy artwork. That's just a personal preference of mine. Another thing that is different is the, the edges. Um, face in the same direction so you can compare the art alternatives normally have some kind of almost every one I've bought has some kind of blemish on the side or discoloration um, I call it discoloration it may have been the way the birch wood naturally looked but I don't like that it's a solid color and then blobs of another darker color that's my preference. The US Art Supply, though on some corners and edges it might look a tiny bit rougher, to me it looks a little more natural. And I like the, looks like the tree growth lines on the edges better than I like the art alternatives. Now these are both one and a half inches thick. Um, and I'll just turn it this way and show you. This just still looks more natural to me than the art alternatives. They, it has like a, 
all of them have like little blemishes and stuff that I just don't care for. And I'll show you again here. It's more solid with just blobs of of color instead of instead of the lines. And that may not matter to you, if, especially if you're painting it. Really, this this one would work a little better, I think, for painting because it's a little smoother. But I like this natural wood look for my artwork. The the board itself, both of them feel very sturdy and I don't have any issues with either of them as far as the the top goes, which is the most important. That's where you're adhering your artwork. Of course, this one I've already added the the artwork on top of and this one I have not, so I can't really show you what the top looks like. They're both comparable as far as that goes, as far as the top part. There's no blemishes that really impede um, or hurt the the application of the artwork. So that's my opinion of, of these two boards. I prefer the US Art Supply, but you may prefer this one. If you use cradled panels to mount your artwork, what brand do you prefer? Leave a comment below and let us know. If you have never mounted your artwork to a cradled panel and you found this video helpful, let me know that too and hit the like button. I will be creating another video soon to show you my final step to completing this piece with epoxy resin, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified anytime I add new videos. Thank you so much for watching.